Recently, I was doing some research on 16th century boxwood carvings when I discovered that the vast majority of these beautiful works of wood carvings that I was looking at were taken almost completely from pre-existing prints, paintings, and the carver, while being very skilled with his craft of fine, delicate woodwork, was not so creative when it comes to narrative composition, and thus he copied it from others. And after discovering this, I found myself having these weird, conflicting thoughts about originality and ownership. On the one hand, I really don't like the idea of someone just blatantly copying other people's work. But on the other hand, I'm kind of glad he did it because otherwise he wouldn't have been able to make such beautiful, amazing works of art that stood the test of time unlike many prints and paintings. And who knows, maybe these printmakers and painters that this guy borrowed from were totally okay with it. We don't know for sure because one, this was a long time ago, these people are dead, we can't ask them, and two, back in medieval Europe, Europe, intellectual property and copyright law really wasn't a thing. Sometimes when I talk to people about art, they think that most artworks are 100% original. But if you really thought about this proposition, 100% original, can you really find something ever that's 100% original? Because I think the reality is most people, most artists, borrow inspiration and materials from other people. And that we make art based on the world around us, based on what we see and what we know. No. We borrow ideas from people all the time, whether it's people from history or our contemporaries. Now, intellectual property and copyright law are really complicated issues. I would suggest watching this series if you need a crash course. So sometimes as a creator, we want others to use our creations, but maybe we want there to be limitations on what they can use it for, or we would like to receive attribution for them doing so. And sometimes we want to use and build on other people's ideas, but we want to do it respectfully fully and we want to make sure we have their permission to do so. So how do we do that? Well, we could go up and ask each and every person individually. But what if there are thousands or maybe millions of people who want to use a thing? Or what if you want thousands or millions of people to use your thing? What if you're not sure how to give permission? Or what if you're not sure how to get permission? Well, for the past 15 years, there has been actually a solution. It's called the Creative Commons, which is a nonprofit organization that provides free licenses and tools to creators that allows them to share their works with others to use, reuse, and or transform. This is not the same as putting your work into the public domain, where anyone can use it in whatever way they want and you give up all the rights to your work. This is a way for creators to reserve some rights to their work, while at the same time giving others permission to use it in ways that they agree with. For example, you can allow others to use your work, but one of the criteria is that they have to give you credit. Or you're okay with people using your work, but you're not okay with people making modifications to it without your permission. Or you're okay with people using your work, transforming it, modifying it in whatever way they want, but you don't want it to be used commercially. Or any combination of the above. Creative Commons provides us with ways to do that. And they can also help us navigate the complicated world of the internet and differing international copyright situations. Now, I understand that not everybody is into remixes, not everybody is interested in sharing their work, and not everybody is interested in using other people's work. And that's totally okay. I think the existence of copyright and all rights reserved is vital to our culture and economy. And thus, being supportive of collaboration is by no means a rejection of independent creation. Artists should be able to choose the type of ownership they want to have over their creations and should receive protection whether they choose to retain all of the ownership over it or share it with others. So this Project for Awesome, I encourage you to share some of your support with Creative Commons. Please vote for this video and Creative Commons so that they can receive a portion of the money we fundraised this year for Project for Awesome. And please also consider donating a small amount yourself directly to Creative of comments. I will put a link in the description. Thanks for watching and EFTBA.